Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I've got something really, really special, super historical and significant. Um, so I'm helping Michael with this. Hey guys. Michael, you don't like this guitar, do you? I don't know. <laughs> it's one of the best I've ever played. Absolutely insane. So uh, this guitar is incredible. And um, this is a reissue case. There's a few things with this guitar um, that I, I want to show you. This is Fender Broadcaster. And it is number 84. 0084. Wow. And um, it has been refretted. Um, the original frets are here and they're in order, but I don't know who would put them back. And the nut has been replaced. That's the original nut. And this pickup has been rewound. And this is a reissue case. But this is one of the most historically significant guitars that we've ever had. And this was owned by Leon McAuliffe, who played steel guitar with Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys. Where they were like the supreme uh, pre-rockabilly, like Texas swing band in the world. And what really adds to this that we found out this is the guitar that was in the first Fender catalog. So if you look at the catalog, you can see the grain with like these lines coming over here. This kind of V-shaped stuff here. If you look at the Fender catalog, you can see it's this guitar. Somebody pointed that out to us and we didn't even realize it at the time. Um, uh, just the grain here in this ash is very distinctive. And if you look at the catalog, the front and back picture, as you can see that it is this guitar. One thing that's real cool is that it's got the flathead screws, not the Phillips. And um, broadcasters don't have the channel in the middle like the telecasters do or even some of the no-casters. Broadcasters do not have that separate channel for the wiring and this guitar also the tuners these are repro tuners but the original tuners are in the case they're not real functional but they're there um, so this is one of the most incredible historic guitars we've ever had in the store and if you're a fender uh, fanatic this is one of the ones right here, number 0084 Broadcaster, the one in the very first Fender catalog. Wow. Just absolutely amazing. And to make things even more insane, this guitar sounds so good and plays so good. That's what I was going to say. I was going to add, it's not just a looker, not just a collector. This guitar is definitely a player. And uh, it doesn't get more custom down to, to this. I mean, you feel that neck and you realize you've never, you'll never play one just like this and a uh, very special guitar and that net that bridge pickup is lethal yeah it can hurt somebody <laughs> so, uh, again one of the most significant guitars and important historical guitars we've ever owned broadcaster number 0084 um unfortunately a buddy of mine or fortunately or unfortunately a buddy of mine has already claimed this guitar and is buying it uh but um i just want to say uh, it's something that I just thought you all should see because you don't get stuff like this too often. The guitar featured in the very first Fender catalog right here. So cool. Michael, you're going to come out and show us what this does? I will. <laughs> Thank you so much, Norm, for the Be opportunity. Careful. Be careful. Oh, my God. Don't scare me. <laughs> all right. We're going to have Norm, Norm play it next. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Not. Norm, you play this one out. <laughs> I, don't think, I think you got it I from here. I couldn't even make me sound good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're up front with the 1950 Fender Broadcaster. Um, an absolutely amazing guitar and a piece of musical history. Uh, it's number 84, um, as you can see on that plate right there. Um, but we're also going through a 60s Fender Twin Reverb. Um, we're going to start off with that dark circuit to show you real quick what it sounds like um, clean. Uh, here we go. Um, we're going to go into both pickups now and try something a little different. Here we go.
kind of a mellow sound. Um, we're also going to go to the distorted channel. Here we go. You have it, your 1950 Fender Broadcaster. Just a kick-ass guitar. They don't make them like this. This is just an unbelievable thing and a piece of history right here at Norman's Red Guitars. Thank you so much. Um, this is why we do it. Um, keep watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.